In this video, we're going to explore the title display configurations in Chart.js. And this is something that you can use, but it's not that commonly used. However, sometimes it can be very useful. You want to create a title. And the most common way, or most, most people will probably just create a simple title in the, in the uh, div itself. So let's say here we have our chart here. We can say here title chart in Chart.js. We save this and refresh, we have this here. Well, this can be useful, but if ever you would move this to another location, you have to move around as well the title tag, which should not be a big problem. However, sometimes it might not be practical. So what you can do is you can build in a title within the chart, which will be here on top. So let's start and explore how we can do this. But before I start with that, if you want to learn about Chart.js, check out the Chart.js Udemy course. You can find the link in the description box, which goes very deep in every settings of Chart.js. All right, so what are we going to do here? So having this title here is probably not always useful or desirable. So what we can do is we can put it in here. So let me show you exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get the title configuration settings here. So you can see here the title configuration settings. Well, this one is not commonly being used and I use this not that often, but if I do use it, I do some adjustments within the chart as well. I like to put in the legend below, but let's start and explore this. So you can see here, this is the display and it's a Boolean. By default, it is set on false. So you can see here the title configurations has a namespace of the options and then dot title. So this is very important. It, it should be in the option setting. Does it show the title? Yes or no? Well, in default, it is set on false, but let's adjust this. So remember, this is the configuration options where we want to pinpoint it and we're going to pinpoint it here. We say here title dot, oh, sorry, title. And then in here, column, and then we put in here the curly braces. And here we just say display, yes or no. In our case, we can set them true. But if we do this, refresh, you can see we have displayed it, but there is an issue here. There is no text here. So what we need to do here is also to set up the text. So we say here title, Hello, uh, chart, chart in chart yes. And make sure here's a comma, we saved it. And once we do this here, oh, doesn't work here. Title, it might be title text or it's text one or the other. All right, so let's double check here. What is the item? Oh, sorry, it's text. As you can see here, there you are. All right, so we have here this part here. So this is decent. And while the fonts are small, of course, you can control them. But what I would recommend then push this down here or push this to another location because the legend here would not be very appealing to put in. So what I would suggest here is to do a legend, move this down here and a legend is a position. Let me say here, bottom. That would be more than enough. Make sure this is a string. There we are. Save this. Refresh. And now you get a better way of displaying it it doesn't interfere here so this is basically the way how you can use the title display to position it with the text here to control what kind of text you want to show so if you like these kind of videos subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding to this put them in the comment section below